CataractCoach.com, the many uses of viscoelastic. Here are two great pearls from two different guest surgeons. I think you'll like these. So our first guest surgeon here is Dr. Xiaogang Wang, and he's going to show us eye well insertion. So three-piece lens going in, leading half looks pretty good. Then we got the optic coming out, opens up pretty nicely. And now we got to get the trailing haptic in and going in slowly. And look at the incision, how viscoelastic is leaking out. So at the end of the case here, we're using a cohesive viscoelastic. And so now attempting to get this lens dialed in here. So using this little hook to dial it around. But look at the incision, losing viscoelastic, AC shallowing. So we've got to get this trailing haptic dialed in. So trying again, just doesn't want to rotate as well as you want. Trying there, that's not bad. It's going in, going in, going in, but no, where's the haptic? And I don't think it's in the capture bag, is it? So we look carefully. Nope, let's bring it around more. Is that trailing haptic? He's dialing it in. Is it going in the capture bag? No, in fact, the AC shallowing, the bag is shallowing because we've lost so much viscoelastic. So you can still try to rotate it more, but the problem is now, look, where's the haptic? It looks like it's coming above the iris. So don't keep struggling here. There are a couple options. One, you can go in with the infusion on the eye probe in the main incision, then use your second instrument through the side port, and that'll work because you'll inflate the eye, inflate the capsule bag, and then you can use your left hand through the side port to dial it into position. The other option is just put in more viscoelastic. So there again, you see that trailing haptic, it's above the iris for sure. And so you want to do the least amount of damage possible, so putting in more viscoelastic here is a smart move. Now we use viscoelastic or OVD, ophthalmic viscosurgical devices, as we also call them, for many aspects of the surgery. And it's very helpful to maintain space, to protect tissues, to lubricate. And in this case, we're going to use it to maintain that space. So now more viscoelastic is going to go inside the eye here. And then this can be put in the capsule bag. So first go uh, behind the optic and really inflate the bag. Now go above the optic as well, injecting more viscoelastic to deepen the anterior chamber. So now it's gonna be a lot easier to deal with. Now if you go in with just that hook, it's gonna be a lot easier. And going in through the side port has one more advantage, and that's to fixate the eye. But now the hook's going in the main incision. That little hook that's going in the main incision, the nice part is it's small and it doesn't burp the incision as much. You don't lose as much viscoelastic. So taking your time here, remember who told you, viscoelastic is cheaper than vitreous. So if you need to, hey, go ahead, put in more viscoelastic. It's always the better option. And there you go. Now the lens is in the bag and we are happy. Nice pearl there. Thanks for sharing. Now our next one. Our operating guest surgeon is Dr. Aaron, Eric Rosenberg, and he's showing you an eye stent, so a MIGS glaucoma device, an angle-based device that's going to be misfired, and then how you get it out of the eye. It's such a tiny little thing. It's almost impossible to grab with forceps, so there's one going in. That looks pretty good. And here's the second one. Looks like this is the eye stent inject, and here comes the second one going in, and he's attempting to do it. This can be a little tricky, as we know, and it goes in, but let's see. Losing our view a little bit in the gonio mirror there, and that's not well placed. Uh-oh. So what do you do now? It's not well placed at all. You can't just push it back into position. It's not going to work there. So use viscoelastic and use a viscoelastic wave, as he calls it. And there you go. Now you can see those are the viscoelastic wave is going to allow you to bring those little pieces and get them and push them outside the eye. So he's injecting at the same time he's depressing his incision. So by doing that, you're injecting viscoelastic distal to the pieces, and then now you depress the incision, and they, the incision will allow the viscoelastic and those pieces to float outside the incision. There they are on the surface of the eye. Those can now be removed. So nice pearl there. Again, lots of uses for viscoelastic. Thank you guys for watching.